Hey Gavax here! Welcome to the Baltimore Ravens Defensive Ebook. If you would like the written version, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gutfox, but it's all going to be here. I'll probably update through that, that through the year as uh, more stuff comes out, uh, meta changes, patches come in, come out, whatever. Uh, but right now, the meta is very much run focused, so a lot of this uh, video will be focused on stopping the runs and tips to stop that, the things that I use. Most pros that you will see... Um, I'm sorry, this wrong controller. Are going to be in 3-4 odd to stop the run. Now, if this is the best, it's debatable. You know, some people say maybe some sort of 3-4 bear they like to stop the run. Some people 46 bear. Um, some people actually like 4-3. I'm not a huge fan. I don't think many people are, but there are some wackos out there. Some people might be a nickel in order to get a strength to one side or the other. It depends on what kind of formation your opponent comes out, of course. But 3-4 odd is a balanced formation and one that's good at stopping the meta at the moment, at least containing it as best we can. Um, and the most important thing, so this, this meta is... Um, run focused and as we start to get more cards like Pat Tillman with Enforcer you're gonna want to start to put those on your card so right now at the beginning of the year when everybody is like passing a little bit more uh, before they buffed the zones before they, they you know made running even better than it already was or basically just made passing worse the meta was to have superstar abilities in a defensive line after kind of like the, the we'll go through a little bit of uh the, the man press the man blitzing um, a little bit of that in this video but it became superstar defensive linemen because they got such good sheds they i think they nerfed that a little bit um they still get some pretty good sheds at times there are some games where they're coming and screaming other games where they don't do a whole lot uh but i think the meta is switched and everybody's going to start to switch to this a little bit more uh once we get more hit 90 hit power cards are going to be enforcer cards because basically what you do if you have them i'm not gonna be able to show it during this game but let's just say it will come out come for this is what they do um when when say a ball carries at them so say the ball and i got two things so say this is getting running off so you get the ball close and then you you, you click off so it didn't really look like that it didn't really work very well there but you basically get to them and then you click you click off at the last second i'm not showing it very well here uh but that's the enforcer. So you get that you get that big chem that goes and it lands CPU hit sticks and causes fumbles. So if you have Mutt Master Pat Tillman, that's a great way of causing fumbles. All right, let's get to actual run deed. Let's get to the ebook e again. If you would like this written out in Word document form, join the Twitch channel, subscribe to the channel, and uh, so it's it's free with Amazon Prime. Otherwise, five bucks a month as we send out more of these. So the, um, a lot of what you're going to see, Wing flex, flex Close, we're in the Oakland book, which I think is the most meta book right now. There are people in other stuff. So people are going to be in Wing Flex Close, we're going to be in I-Form Close, some people will be in H-Slot I-Form, um, and that's kind of what I want to show to stop the run. So let's, let's get into what I think the most popular one is that you see a lot online, um, is this one. So Halfback Dive, Halfback Stretch are really the ones that you want to stop. You'll see a little four verticals too, but most people are going to run the ball. There's Heavy Panther. Um, out there too that I'll go through some stuff that I've found but it's still our the run is so RNG based it is so hard to stop it right now because as you see at the top like people are running Friday Night Football uh, Madden Classic it's run focused so even the best players in the world are having a hard time stopping the run because it is uh, very much overpowered due to how offensive line mechanics work and defensive line pursuit does so a uh, uh, 3-4 like this base straight up We'll see how this goes against the, the stretch, all right? See what happens. We get hooked along the edge. We get a guy out there, and then it's easy 10 yards, make a move. You go even further. Okay, so you're like, well, that's pretty crappy. Now we need to make adjustments, and it depends on how adjusted you want to get, how, how confident you think they're going to do this. A good way of stopping this, so we're in 3-4, odd, cover 4, drop shot 2, base line press. You can spread your D-line, spread your linebackers here. Sometimes I like to bring them a little closer. You can leave them there. Either use the backside safety, but you don't know this is the backside because this is basically symmetrical. Uh, they're going to want to run behind their better blockers, but sometimes people just sub in tight ends here. So it's basically symmetrical blocking also. Um, these guys are a little wider, maybe get you hooked a little bit more out there. But user either backside free safety or middle linebacker. Middle linebacker is a little safer. So let's see how this, this plays out just like this. Let's see how the stretch plays out. Um, a little bit a little bit better there. Um, as long as he doesn't break tackles, we're doing a pretty good job. So baseline press, spread your linebackers. You can spread your... Spread your uh, outside guys and just kind of watch how the whole play folds. We'll, we'll flip it. So you're using young, go this way. You got to basically respect the cutback because a lot of people that are good at running the stretch will cut the back ball uh, ball back. Um, so here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll uh, use the running back this time. But this is kind of my favorite 
Um, if they if they could beat this, then we got to go further, and we'll go further in the adjustments in a second. So I'll do I'll I'll, I'll use the running back right here. Uh, there's yeah. See outside maybe maybe a juke, but we have three guys here. It's hard to juke or stiff arm out of three guys. Well, hard. So that's kind of the basic what you want to do right away and see if they got stick enough to beat you right here. Do you see this cutback lane? So somebody goes wide. They got uh, a couple guys going wide, but they might cut it back up here. So you got to hope that this guy can refill back that way. Uh, maybe your user sweeps back up in the, from the backside. But generally, you'll be using um, this guy right here, right? And so you got to watch. You got to be that cutback, that over the top guy. You're basically mirroring the running back. Um, it, it's kind of like, it's weird because it's a stretch, but because of how powerful the run is, like it's like oh, I'll just I'll just do it into a pull because it'll give me a better. Um, it'll get, it's ridiculous this game on the run. Uh, the magnet blocks. So you're going to hopefully, you can do a little semicircle around the guard to get around them. Uh, that's always a good way. But basically, you're filling backside gap here um, uh, against that run, against that cutback. So say they're still killing you. Other ways of, of playing this a little bit better. If you're 100% confident they are going to run the ball, it's not a terrible idea. And, and, and this is okay. You can also come, to, come out in a man coverage. And I'll show the man coverage in a bit. So if you go Tampa 2, if you put your guys in spies... That's a solid one, too. I think I saw J-Tips talk about this one first. Um, putting the guys in spies, they're going to feel a little bit better for you. So watch this. This is a little bit more aggressive. Like you, I also did that video. You can also hit right stick. Uh, but right now, you don't need to hit any right sticks because everybody's kind of in run fill gaps. So watch the safeties against this one. You see how he crashes down a little bit better? Do uh, you see how he goes right uh, to the line of scrimmage versus a regular cover two? So here's a regular cover two. Watch the safeties. Uh, why aren't you moving? There you are. So watch the safeties. We can also spread. You don't have to spread like that, but um, some people like to crash their D-line down too to stop the middle dive um, right here. Now watch watch what a regular cover two safety will do. They'll back up off the line, leave a little bit more holes there, um, allow allow them to get a few more yards. But if you do that same thing, but put them into like spies, you can also just man them up too. Manning's not a bad idea. Sorry. Man, play that guy. All right, man Y up on this guy. Like I said, you can get you can get bombed here still, but this is like against the run. Oh, sorry, these guys should be in cover two. All right, now watch them. Here they are manned up. It's not as effective as last year, but they do charge the line of scrimmage first. They kind of hold their water right there. So you're like, okay, that works. You can also play a little man coverage off this too to stop the same stretch. And I, I, I you know, I'm spending a lot of time on this because it's super important. So this might get a little like, oh my god, the same thing, whatever. Um, I'm trying to show tips. So cover one robber is not a bad idea against the same thing. So with that same tip, there's same formation. We'll, we'll do I form stretch now. I form, let's do close stretch um, right there. Same thing. I like to press and shade over the top. Make sure these, your cornerbacks are fast. When you shade over the top, you won't get bombed or you won't if you're out sped. So here, here's this, watch this. I'll use, use the backside safety here. Watch this stretch. It was okay. We had a guy there. Uh, we also had our user free on the backside, so you really got a user and sweep up too. Uh, but again, press shade over the top. I didn't do anything with my linebacker. You can you can move your... If, if you notice the strong side, I almost suggest moving your defensive line and maybe slanting him over there if there's a strong side run. And now let's watch this play play out. Yeah, still still did pretty good. <laughs> breaking tackles like crazy lovely so uh that's kind of it like you're just gonna have to get over there and use room and then uh force some fumbles with some enforcer players uh this time i'll put them in uh that um quarterback spy and there he gets outside a little bit better you got to fill with your user hopefully a block shed but he's still got a touchdown dang 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 let's watch a replay what happens in the man coverage we'll see where this breaks down backside linebacker pursuit yeah see this guy right here was the problem see how we got so we got covered so spread your linebackers um and that's all i all, all i can really say spread the linebackers move them out here a little bit manually move them too and then uh You got more outside help. So if you manually move guys out, it also helps against outside stretches. A good tip. So that's what I kind of want to show about the 3-4 odd. 
uh, Tampa 2, cover 4. Again, stopping the stretch, you're basically going to be sitting in 3-4 odds. So, they, you know, it's, it's symmetrical. And they, don't, they can't flip it as easily on you. Um, I've seen some talk about edge blitz 1 being good, flipped. Uh, pinch your D-line, spread your linebackers. I don't love it, but I've heard some people talk about it getting pretty good block sheds. But uh, So just know that's out there. One little thing I want to show, I discovered this kind of by accident. Uh, pinch dog 2 press against, say, like, uh, I don't know, shotgun formations. We'll just do something like this. It kind of like gets through glitchy like the oh this guy needs to be fast the, Williams isn't fast so he's not it's not gonna happen to him but just just kind of watch him right now do you see how do you see how uh, the right guard kind of got caught up on the center with a fast player they go through and it's like a nano so that's only against shotgun though that it works um, I'll show it to you again this guy watch watch this this guard whoops I can't do it this guard right here do you see how he gets stuck? And if this guy, if this defensive end was fast, he'd have gotten through. It's like a, it's like a weird switch off. But FYI, that's at a three four. Um, that's a nice little blitz. You got to send five though, but you do get like a nano type thing. So the running back basically has to stop you. Um, they have to block a running back in order to stop that blitz. Um, three four also has pinch buck O, pinch buck Mike. Uh, I, I'll go over this. Many of you know this. Uh, a lot of videos have been done on this pinch buck O, pinch buck Mike. How uh, we like to set it up best. Against basically anything, gun, um, we'll do gun trips, tight end, or something like that. So, a lot of people, you could just run it like you rip it. Press, shade over the top. You got to have fast guys out here. You, you man align, um, or don't man align. Or you can, you, if you anticipate them blocking play, if you anticipate them blocking the tight end running back, just go ahead and send them. You're always going to outnumber them. And then you only have to run three. So, you're, you're sending eight. If they only send out three routes and you're sending eight, hey, guess what? You got an extra guy. You're freeing home. Oh, wait. They, they, I didn't block anybody there. But anyways, the, the whole trick is to get there before they can make a read. Basically, the trick is to take away their first read with their user. Um, so a lot of people will be like this. Um, some people will even motion in a, a wide receiver. But you're trying to overwhelm them. The, the, a good setup uh, uh, depends on what you're going against. Blitz all linebackers. Whoops. Blitz all linebackers. Show blitz, and then you can even hover with your user, like right here, like this. So this should this should go pretty good. Ah, I didn't block extra guys before, but that's the point. Getting guy three. Um, there's another decent blitz. So that's out of three four, um, and something that you can kind of disguise with your cover four drop show too. Some people like calling cover four and then blitzing all linebackers to give a similar look, but with zone coverage, you can do the same thing out of cover two. Uh, a few years ago, it used to be this crossfire three, but that's kind of out of style. The, the, the loop doesn't get around. Uh, basically, all you're trying to do is overwhelm them. This year isn't really like, there's not that many fancy exotic blitzes. Um, it's more just kind of like overwhelming. Like an exotic blitz or something that's kind of a cool thought. Uh, cover, let's do cover two invert. This is a pretty neat thought. You're basically overwhelming one side of the line because the line is so smart this year. Uh, all right, let's go Trey Y flex. Let's do let's do levels corner, but let's block the running back. So we got six man protection. I don't know if this will be great against it, but uh, what's the strong side? So blitz blitz the linebacker on the strong side. Send this one over here. So you're kind of like it's kind of decent coverage too. You can put him in deep third if you want, or leave him in a spot. Um, you hover over here. You're basically sending more guys off the edge than possible. The only downside of this, um, yeah, I don't have, a, I don't have a generally defensive line crashing down would be decent too. But uh, you're basically trying to overload one side of their offense. If they're sending out five routes, you're sending, you're sending five guys on a blitz and you're hovering. So we'll watch this come through. Oh uh, yeah, running back picked him up that time. But that's the thought is to overwhelm one side of line. Uh, five against five, um, or, or send it off the other side. You can always flip your line, do the same thing like this. And then uh, even when RB is blocked, oh, shoot, yeah. So we ended up getting picked up there. So blitz somewhere it works, and sometimes the, the quarterback has 20 seconds in the pocket. Five-man blitz. Lull. We'll watch the action. Though. We'll watch what happens. You want fast guys off the edge. Wow, that was glitchy. This is this is Madden pass blocking action. This is why blitzes are kind of like wonky. Watch what, what this guy does. 
I, 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 uh, I'm gonna say that doesn't happen very often. That's the first time I've seen this. But this is Man and Blitz pick up an action. You get, you get Nightcrawler out here teleporting. Yeah. But the center ended up seeing him, so... I don't know. Unfortunate, it didn't work right there in practice mode, but it does come home when you send it. Uh, 3-4 cover 1. 3-4 bear cover 1 is okay. Um, I'm going to show it. Do I have... Let's show this against the run. 3-4 bear. I like to spread the D-line, kind of spread my stuff out. 3-4 bear cover 1. What if I want a better one? I think I'm just going to do cover 1 hole. And we will do... I form close, stretch. So bring this stuff wide, bring him wide, user down here. You can put him in a QB spy. Uh, you can even shift your line if you want, but here's the stretch. It's tough to get outside there with him dragged out. But that's kind of the whole idea is to, to make it hard on them. Otherwise, you know, always spreading the D line. This, is, this makes it a little tougher on them. Then you mirror with your user, the running back. So, spread line, spread linebackers. Pretty decent run defense. Spread line, spread linebackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, nice move. Uh, that's 3-4 bear. 3-4 evens a decent QB sneak D. So, if they're on the goal line, imagine them being on the goal line. It's not that hard to do. QB sneak. So, you get out your 3-4 even. Best thing I can do, the, the simplest thing to remember, so you're going to Tampa 2. There's two ways of doing it. The most simplest one to remember, uh, pinch D line, slant them left, and then watch this. Oh, bad animation. Pinch D line, slant them left. So there you go. This should be okay. All right, that maybe is the worst one. This is the my second setup. Shift line, land, left, slant in, and hover over the right guard. Like this. A little more consistent, but you use your user, you know what I mean? So, shift line, left, slant in, hover. Try your QB sneak on me. There you go. Somebody faster might be better. Damn, that was a bad animation, Pierce. You son of a gun. But, like I said, it's a D-line year. It's a, Sorry, it's a running year. Oh, it might be because the center is so much better than my defensive tackle. He's a superstar for that animation. Because that doesn't happen against other teams. Shift line, left, pinch in, hover. There you go. Much better. Shift line, left, slant in, hover over right guard. QB sneak dig. 3-4 even. Again, if you want all this, it's written out for Twitch subs. Nick, if you if you watch this video afterwards, if you're watching this video down the road, you can also uh, get this by joining the Discord if you're a sub and linking your Twitch to your Discord. And it'll be in there for you if you missed the email blast. All right, nickel 245, nickel 335 normal are other things that I run here. Then we'll be looking after that to big dime 236 will. Uh, big nickel is basically a lot of the same setups as nickel. It's just, just just got different people in it. Like nickel, you'll have your your outside rushers right there at defensive end, and defensive ends at defensive tackle. A couple of either safeties or middle linebackers here. Your nickel corner and so on and so forth. Big nickel instead of a nickel corner, it'll be your strong safety. And then just make sure you have a good player here. Sixty three overall strong safety two. You'll want to sub that out for somebody better. Um, Tavon Young, we'll say. But let's just go on two four five nickel. So the things that I want to show in 245 will be, you know, the traditional Tampa 2, nickel blitz, uh, cover 3 sky, quarters, and palms. Now, I think I'm going to start on quarters and palms. So I'm not going to, it's going to take a long time to explain all the rules of quarters and palms. I'm just going to say, do not spam the plays, but you should mix them in because they will throw off opponents. It's kind of like mixing in man and zone and mixing zones. Cover four is great, but a lot of concepts that beat zones and beat man also beat these things. So if you call this right after calling man and they have a man beating route, you're also going to get roasted here. It depends, of course, on the route. Some man beating routes uh, get beat by this and whatnot, but a lot of man beating routes will also beat palms, you know, double moves, wheels, that kind of stuff. So I'll just show you how a court, cover four quarters plays. Um, it is it is okay, all right? But some of the weaknesses are posts. 
Um, from a, like a halfback right, right there. Let me run. I'll just run Gun Bunch. That's pretty powerful. Or a bunch of tight end. No, Gun Bunch. So a lot of things you'll see on a Gun Bunch will confuse quarters, unfortunately. We'll just watch how play off. It's match man. So like man coverage. That still wins. Um, that corner route, even against quarters. It didn't really match against Bunch right there. So does quarters not match against Bunch, but Palms does? How is that news to me this year? So match kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it, it matched like it matched over here and looked like it's matching here. And then here it got it went over that guy, but the corner route still open, which is unfortunate because this is a cover four quarter. You, you I, you'd wish that would work. But quarters, it's okay. I like palms a little bit better against bunch than quarters. But let's say verticals. Still completable. So, not the greatest. I, I'd go palms there. It's still, But palms are still beatable by uh, wheel routes just, just as well against corners. So, mix them in for people that are running offensive plays. It, it'll throw them off their game. They might, might look at your uh, previous play and be like, all right, now I'm going to throw a palms or quarters beater. Because there are one play touchdowns against those. So, they're risky to use. Otherwise, if you're going against an opponent that's passing the ball a lot, thank you, Lucky Stars. Uh, because it is more fun to play and easier to stop than the run this year but you guys know how to play tampa 2 cover 2 uh, you know where to cover know who to use her you can man up guys randomly underneath cross man this year isn't that effective i think press man is a lot of what you want to do if you're going to run any type of man um or, or, or straight up man some routes still roasted of course but i want to look at something like nickel blitz 2 uh like you all know not as effective i have auto flip on i leave my auto flip on for nickel um, coverages so that way um, uh, they, they go to the strong side so I can't get outrun to the strong side but what I like this year off the edge is the same thing we've had it for a few years it's called contain blitzing so if you have your corner and a contain that makes it a lot better um, and it, it doesn't always beat max protect so they're max protect right here um, so I'm gonna be sending six with a hover and we'll see how we can do and we got picked up you had three guys out there so if you hover, then go back and use her, it is what it is. It gets picked up a max protection, but basically you're sending six. You're hoping to beat, if they don't max protect, them. But basically this is a mix-in, because there's no such thing as like an unbeatable blitz. The only great blitz that's very hard to block is the one four six. but you can generally run on that um, under center, motion a guy in. Uh, it, it shuts down a pretty good amount. So one four six is not in this playbook, but that's the only type of like contained blitz um, coming off both edges that are really freaking glitchy. You can always move this guy potentially out a little bit and then try uh, try similar luck, but it doesn't seem to be working here. Uh, but we'll watch this. Max protect. Yeah, got picked up anyways. So against a max protect and bunch, still not the best. If they're in bunch, I generally like to go. Here's, here's my defense against bunch, all right? It's not nickel, uh, but there are counters for counters and bunches of the counter to this nickel blitz. So probably the worst thing to show it against. What I use against gun bunch is two three six will. It's basically the same as the uh, one four six. I use cover one robber press. Now, well, you'll be like, all right, how do you run this? Let's run it. So gun bunch. You are going to see basically two plays out of gun bunch with some hot routes mixed in. You're going to see some sort of corner route like this bunch trail has, or you're going to see verticals. Now I would rather beat by a corner, be beat by the corner route than a vertical. So I'm gonna watch it first play. Basically, first play I'll always come out same type of setup. Here, all right. So I press shade over top, um, so that way, and you must have a fast guy right here. You must have fast guys. Um, so then I go, put him there, put him there, put him either on an outside quarter, or you can put him in an outside third. So if you put him in an outside. Oh, what's what did I do? Nope. Outside third. So you put an outside third or outside quarter. So basically, this purple route, it depends. If they have a mobile quarterback, you could even spy him and then look to stop the corner route with your user. Otherwise, your user, you kind of want to sit right here against trips formations. This is the way to shoot the gap against inside zone. You want to be in the outside shoulder of this defensive end. 
Um, and, and then you shoot the gap right there to stop inside zones or other in runs. So if he runs the ball, we're shooting the gap right there. Uh, but this is where you want your user to be. You could also, if you expect like something that you want to stop over here, like a quick corner out or something uh, that your man coverage won't stop, uh, you can shade outside, which I just did. But anyways, this is the setup. So they'll motion out on their gun bunch, something like this. And then when they're out there, they'll, they'll hike it. All right. So they can't quick throw it. But if they throw it there, you've got it two guys covered. Now you'd be like, well, is one of them superfluous? Yeah, I guess you could potentially just rely um, if you do the same thing. You don't, you could put him into a, a, a purple, uh, maybe even a soft squat, and then throw him on him. And then ma you, maybe you can rely on Jefferson. The only thing is I'm just super nervous about that actually working. You could go something like this. You can put him over there so that way that crosser routes like a slant route to the right works and then user over the top with this player. But then if you're using this player, you lose a lot of the run defense that you have when you're on the safety and your run defensive spot. Like right here, shooting the gap is so powerful. Uh, basically shuts down the run for you. So like I said, shade over top. All You will have to watch. There is there is a potential, and this is something that's happened before. Renfro, if you got like a Tyree Kill or a super fast guy, Tory Holt, a straight streak. If you're not watching, it can beat you over the top. So something that you want to be aware of. So if I go Renfro, straight streak. Now watch now watch this play out. See how he kind of gets there? Not really because I'm shaded over the top. So that's why I shade over the top helps. Um, but you might, guy might get mixed up a little bit in that stuff. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Um, just know it. Soft squat. B. But here, I'll, I'll show you what happens on a soft squat and a, uh, a wheel route. We'll see if... Watch this. This is why I'm not that huge. Because B can still get over top of that safety. Do you see that? If I had more field, he's outrunning that safety. But he won't really outrun the cover four. So, and let, make sure your safety's fast, of course. Uh, but that's why I go cover four quarter right there first. Um, and then re, I, I reman him up. Although remanning him up sometimes isn't the best idea. So you can just press um, deep quarter him. The only idea, the, the reman helps with a few like like straight streak routes or whatever. Um, so you can also put him into like a, I don't know, inside third and then user him. Um, but you're going to basically have one guy out of man coverage. And generally he's either running a slant or a corner. So if he runs a slant or a corner, he's going to get a, 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 a pretty good play right there. So you can also do this, but that's it's a solid coverage on it. It depends on the adjustments for the defense, uh, what they run. Uh, but let's say like they motion out and they slant them. You see this a ton. You basically have responsibility for be yourself. So you can't really you can't really roam over the middle of the uh, field, seeing what else they're putting on. Sometimes they'll put on a backside in, uh, which is something you got to take away too. They'll put X on an in um, if they're running corner routes. So. It's an adjustment game, but I think the man coverage locks it down, locks bunch down better than anything else. Um, but like I said, wheel routes and stuff that you got to be aware of are very important to stop. Um, so I'll show it one more time how I like to set it set up. So you as the user are in here, and basically you're there in the middle of the field. This guy, like I said, quarterback spy or corner route stopper with the purples. You can you can shade down and shade up to turn them into a cloud flat. And then you have the middle of the field, whatever they decide to do. Um, this crosser, that in route, that in route did get open there. But if you have pass rushers, it's okay. Because do you see how the slant got open? But did you see my purple route was right there to stop him? Like, so he catches this ball, this in route. So say he catches that ball, he gets to come over and catches it. This guy is right there. Because once they throw the ball, it takes a while because of how, how uh, slow the, the ball is this year. He's, he's set up for a hit stick, right? Especially if this is somebody that's going to get enforcer in a little bit. That's pretty good. They'll have to go down like right away. I mean, seven yard gain is a pretty good gain. Uh, but next play, you'll have another uh, chance to redeem yourself and, and use with that. Uh, maybe let your man coverage just take out their tight end here. and Because uh, that's, a, that's a tough throw to make. It's, it used to be, it used, that, that route used to destroy man coverage. It's okay now. Depends on who's running it. 
Uh, but that's kind of it. I, I like the man coverage, shade over the top against bunch against basically all passing formations. Um, of course, you know the 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 speed ins outs, the the corner routes, the cut, the playmaker. Sorry, the slot apprentice routes are really good against man coverage. Uh, but let let me show you against uh, inside zone, Trey Y flex. I'll show you why it's so important. You're in this. So shade over top, and then if they're running inside zone. So say, say I like to go like this and then this. Against trips, this guy doesn't really need to be over there. Uh, he doesn't need to be in a purple route. But it's okay against that tight end running a corner route. But anyways, so here's here's a setup. Now watch watch what happens when the inside zone happens. You literally hit him in the background, backfield. All right. Nice little getaway from me running back. But see what I mean? I'm literally getting to him in the back back backfield. I kind of cheated there, but you get what I'm saying. Right? I'll do it without the cheat. Right here, inside zone, shoot that gap. Shoot the gap at the snap of the ball. I like to help, I like to have my guy on a blitz because he, he seems to go quicker than being in a zone. He seems to get off the ball a lot quicker when he's on a blitz. So now he's on a blitz. See, because I can get there quicker. Um, But that's kind of it for 146. I went over, did I go to cover three, cover two? Yeah, I'm not going to go through basic coverages there. Big nickel over G. Um... Of course, in this thing, when people see you in the same same shit all over and over again, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be in the same fucking formation. So sometimes it's not a bad idea. You can either like fake people out with bluff blitzes. You can blitz people off the edge. Another good thing, depending on your opponent, I I find opponents are either hold the ball out when they when they throw the ball like last year or get the ball out quick. If they get the ball out quick, type of folks. You don't really want to blitz them. You kind of want to confuse them with coverage. Um, but if they're hold the ball, folks, wait for like crossers and stuff like last year. DB fire is not bad. Similar thing to that I just showed with like nickel blitz. Um, so if they're in tri trips uh, tight end, maybe they're running like PA crossers like last year. Blocking their running back. So, you know, just press, bring this guy in. Um, you can either man him up or send him on these contain blitzes, right? Contain blitzes are very solid. Whoops. This guy has to move in. Solid. You could also send one of these guys. I like to hover generally against this. So here it is. Contain blitz. Got picked up, but we eventually got home. Uh, but otherwise, like I say, if you're in this and they're in trips, not a bad idea to randomly man a guy up. Like this or something. You also can just man up running back too if they're doing a lot of running back routes. A lot of people like to run their running back routes on wheels. Um, you know, like you guys know, wheel routes destroy man and whatnot. But we'll we'll watch this right here. So right here, right here, right here. Yeah. Wheel route. If there's nobody over there, then sure. Damn, my my no superstar pass rush just took a long time to get home. So yeah, having superstar, I, I would it, suggest maybe like two enforcers, one superstar pass rusher, if you can. Uh, get the Mutt Master, and then, I don't know. Patrick Wheels is way too expensive. Uh, does Clay, Clay Matthews get enforcer? That's a pretty cheap uh, card to get. Cover three lock, I like in this too. It's a similar, it's a similar thing as what I just showed. Cover three lock seems to, I seem to get exposed a little bit more in cover three lock than I do in other things. But when you look at the actual stats, five point four yards per allowed, not bad. Uh, cover three lock, it's just basically you're supposed to lock down one guy. If you have a superstar man coverage corner, that's not bad. Basically, this guy right here is in man coverage, so have somebody fast uh, and sexy right there for you. Other stuff, I don't like, I don't like many blitzes, varying to a cover four drop. If they're trying to take advantage of your cover two is nice. Um, cover three, like I said, either lock or a beautiful one. One that I really like is this cover three hard flat. Um, and it gets it gets glitchy off the edge just like the other coverage. But it's like the cover two shit. But you see how it's like auto, it's set up there. It's that same blitz. The thing is if you have an edge rusher right here, he basically loses edge rush talent because this guy's on the outside. So just know that. Um, but he gets glitchy off the edge frequently off that thing so that kind of screams at him uh which is cool similar setup like i said to the db fire i just qb contain he's already right there and uh we'll go for it oh they stacked on each other there so randomness to the blitzes beautiful um so that's one four six cover three cloud like i showed beautiful co coverage adjustment um this does a lot better against uh like let's see it 
It does a lot better against just all types of route. So we'll watch this. This is good either just to leave stock or to kind of um, just flood the outside. So here is the coverage against Bunch. We'll just watch it play out. RB looked open, but your corner is kind of there. If you roll out, it's a little bit easier to pass. Um, they like to flip the bunch. Whoops, I flipped my coverage. Run it again. Whoops, I threw it too early. The corner route's the only really thing that's like kind of getting open here. All right. But yeah, it's, it's a little deep, I guess. Anyways, you can drag your cover three down. I thought that corner route might have beat it because it's a hard flat. So that's really one you have to kind of take care of if you're this player. Um, it depends on what you're in, cloud flats or, or hard flats. If you're in a hard flats, you're watching the corners. If you're in, if you're in, hard, if you're in cloud flats, you're kind of watching the flats a little bit more. But it's nice because it, it kind of like goes over top. These guys rotate to a cover three, but it gives them a, uh, a cover two look. So it's just a nice change of pace for people making reads. Because these things shift differently. Because a lot of people look at the safeties to determine what defense it is. Cover 2, cover 3, whatever. So if these both kind of go back, it might confuse them. So that's basically like coverage defense 101. Um, and kind of like how I like to play. Uh, there's a few blitzes there. Of course, blitzes get picked up pretty easily as you saw. But um, if you really want to blitz people, the pinch buck O. Sending everybody just regularly on a, on a regular cover 2. Um, setting six people out of pinch dog to press is okay. I showed the ones out of the three, four bear nickel three, three, five is the last formation I want to go through. There's 44 here too. A lot of people use the 44. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I, I know it's got, it's, it's, it's cases it's engage eight, um, solid plays all around, but I feel like you can still get taken advantage of it a little bit too much on the outside with runs. But against the pass, the only the only disadvantage of the 44 is like if people know how to run out routes against you, you're kind of fucked, right? Uh, but let's go 44, tight doubles. We'll do like a mesh spot. We'll do a max protection. So the benefit of this is, all right, we have, we'll be on a defensive lineman. So if they max protect this, you see how everybody ran at him anyways? Uh, we tripped we tripped over each other. Because there's tripping on defense but not on offense. Do you see how everybody ran at him? So it's it's Green Dog Blitz. Deuce Close said this last year. It was good stuff. So basically what happens? When somebody blocks in the 44, if it's man coverage, if they're blocking, this guy's going to run after him anyways. Like a lot of times these things convert to spies, which are basically useless in all-out blitz formations. Like you saw like how I blitzed extra people in the 3-4. So the, the 44... You don't need to blitz those extra people because if they're blocking the running back, this guy's going to run and chase and blitz. So they, you'll always have one more rusher than they have blocker in this. And basically, you're going to have to like just either D-line user, or but basically, user one of these guys. Maybe get a nice little uh, jam on him. And we tripped. We had one more blocker, and he had a lot of time there. But it looked like uh, we had a little trip action, action happen. We'll watch it again. So that's the benefit of man blitzing in this. One, two, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he, he recognized the block a little late. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all for uh, all out blitzing. Because you, you if, they, if, they, if they throw him quick to the flat, you got him on coverage. If they block, you got him going. All right, uh, but 44... That's kind of all I want to say about 44. It's okay on the cover two invert for stopping the run, but I feel like it's still exposed wide too often. So it's okay. 335. Not as powerful last year, but it still has got a few tricks up its sleeve. It still has pretty decent defense. Tampa 2, like you know, like I showed the edge blitzing in nickel 2. Uh, nickel blitz 2, it's still solid that way for Tampa 2. Otherwise, loop crash is okay. I don't love it though um, for actually getting home. Cover three sky drop. Basically, what you're doing in three three five is either you're flooding the field with defenders. It's not that good against the run, which is tough. Um, or you're trying to send some guys at the at the the quarterback. So, like, I'll, I'll just show loop crash too. Some things people have liked over the years. We'll do it against like a 
bunch. Uh, we'll do like mesh spot. But there's a lot of things you can do. Send him, send him. So you got a lot of guys going. You're basically covering the flats. Or you can send him into the flat. Man up. Shit. Like there's a lot of adjustments you can do here. Um, and, and they're going to have to like max protect and try and, try and beat you this way. Uh, it'd be good to hover here. But it is what it is. Sometimes it gets through. So. I don't know. There's a lot of blitzing from depth that can happen. It can get kind of screwy with the offensive line mechanics. Otherwise, another blitz is like shift your line. Um, shift your linebackers. Oops. Shift your linebackers that way. And you kind of have like a, a little bit of a loop thing happening. I like to, if I'm going to use the safety, I like to man them up, shade over top. And just be like, all right, you're out of play. Otherwise, you get right here. Damn, it got picked up. All right, so that wasn't that good. Uh, but, food for thought. Maybe not the greatest split setup. And I knew it wasn't going to work. I don't even know why I showed it. But basically, 3-3-5 three, three, is confusion defense. Uh, between sending six or dropping everybody, I like it. I like it a lot. Cover four drop is beautiful. The only issue is that 3-3-5, like I said, isn't that great against the run. But you can put safeties here at nickel um, at, at these linebacker spots. So they're going to get to the edges pretty freaking fast in the field. Um, so this is great against like a passer, but not against a hard runner. Uh, because you'll be taken advantage of. And it's, it's a little bit harder, in my opinion, to shoot the gap against like an inside zone here than it is in the 146. The 146 also has better pass rushing guy, or sorry, better um, man coverage guys because they're corners instead of safeties here. But if you want to shoot the gap, so like I said, where are you? Similar. Oof, didn't shoot the gap at all. Got it really exposed. Yeah. So, hey. I think it's shooting on a backside gap. Is it? Do we shoot backside gaps in 35 this year? All right, let me try this. No, there's no shot there. You're basically hoping for your uh, players to get through. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, figure, I'm trying to remember. Because if I see, if I see trips, I'm coming out in the 146. Oh god, I got, I got taken advantage of by that tight end. So move outside so you get targeted by the tight end. And then shoot the gap at the, at the snap of the ball. But still, the tight end's reaching me. So, 3-3-5. Three, three, another adjustment, D. Between adjusting to different routes. Cross-manning. Like I said, cross-manning's not as good this year. Uh, but, watch this. They stuck on him. Stuck on him pretty good. But you're going to have to have superstar defensive linemen in order to uh, pass rush out of 3 3 because you're only sending three. So, but you know, the the, um, the written has about a page of adjustments on 3 3 5. So the written book goes through quite a bit of what you can do out of Tampa 2, uh, 3, and 4. It's kind of, I, I kind of gave the overview in this book, but um, yeah, it's, it's there about how to match little gun bunch issue or uh what to look for for tampa 2 and, and what you can do in manning up and stuff uh, but that's it that's, that's kind of what i go through with the ravens book the most important part of the book was stopping the run up front because the game is so run focused so just know that you're gonna have to make those adjustments on d you can always click right stick to to bring some of the guys down but man stopping the d is stopping the run is, is so frustrating this year it is what it is, though. Yeah. Maybe he get juked out IRL. Or when you're playing a real guy. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.